pull back in the split jump. Nice. And then now at the half, press. Good. It's not enough to just want something. Control. Good. You have to work to see your dreams through. Good, nice and square. Gymnastics is an individual sport, so you have to want it for yourself. Morgan Bryce is 16. Her dream is to be a college gymnast. Push all the way through, and square, nice. I train in the morning, on top, and then I go to school at 11 o'clock, and then I come back to gymnastics practice to train again. Nearly 23 hours a week. Nice and tight pull back, and push. Work. Better. That's paid off. Nice. We're allowed to talk to colleges June 15th, going into our junior year. And last nice. June, pull back one, two. They started calling. One, two. Arkansas, LSU, Kentucky, Auburn, Denver, Oregon State. Good, swing it through. And she made a call of her own. Hold one, two. I was fully committed and signed to Arkansas. An SEC powerhouse coached by an Olympic gold medalist. And her older sister, Frankie, is also on the team. A no brainer. The only problem. Morgan's dream has two parts. One of my goals in life was to go to an HBCU and to be a college gymnast. Step, kick, step, 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 kick, and... The only problem with that... One, two, three... There wasn't an HBCU with a gymnastics team. Until February, three months after she signed to Arkansas. I was just going through Instagram, and then I saw it, and I was like, whoa. This fall, Fisk University will be the home of the first women's gymnastics team at an HBCU ever. Like, this is kind of crazy. Like, this is, like, really big. And with the chance to make both of her dreams come true, another no-brainer. I had to call my coach at Arkansas and decommit. He'll pull back in the split jump. Nice. It was a really hard conversation. Fresh. But her conviction was stronger. In drive. She sent an email. Better. I was kind of like, wait, really? <laughs> wait, really? <laughs> Are you sure? Kareen Tarver is the head gymnastics coach at Fisk. That was a huge leap of faith. It really was, and I, I mean, I, I'm so blessed that Morgan wanted to take that leap of faith with me. Years ago, Tarver was a gymnast at another SEC powerhouse. When I went to Georgia, I was the first black gymnast to go to Georgia. You could count on your hands how many black gymnasts were in college gymnastics back then. Her goal then was to open a door for black gymnasts who came after her. Now to lead the first collegiate gymnastics team made up entirely nice. of women of color. Now it's, it's a different door. For Morgan, it's a door that leads back home. Chris was an athlete. He played professional baseball for a while, and so the girls just had this natural gift from him. Chris Price was Marsha Price's husband and their father. They lived in the Nashville area. Chris was involved in a very tragic motorcycle accident. Um, he passed in 2009. The girls were two, four, and six. Marsha Price moved her girls to Texas for more flexibility with their sport and a fresh start. Everything that we do is for him, and for us to be able to make him proud. Uh. 12 years after losing her father, Morgan Price will make history just miles away from where they made memories as a family. That makes me cry. <laughs> um, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. Um, I'm just proud of not just me, but you know, other African-American, you know, athletes and just people because it's kind of like we're doing it for our ancestors. You want the legs, go to your okay. chest. Like the three-quarter jump connection, yeah. This is about legacy and doing the work to make her new dream so a reality. Pull back, good, in and out, press to have more HBCUs with the gymnastics team. In Capel, I'm Morgan Young.